to my channel for another video starting off this vlog here in my bedroom as I put the finishing touches on my suitcase. Here we go, packing up for my once a year girls weekend away. So the last little bit, I've been putting up travel videos in my membership. So um, if you guys are not members, you will not have seen it. But last year, my best friend and I, we went to Nashville and we had an absolute blast. That trip, there were several moments that we literally were crying, laughing. Those are memories that I will never forget, never forget, and they will be impossible to top. So we went last April to Nashville. We stayed in Franklin and I vlogged that trip and her and I both loved watching it back. Um, the year before that, we went to Charleston, South Carolina. Again, had an incredible time. So we've been doing these girls trips since 20... We went to Waco. That was our first one, I think was in 2019 or 2018. Anyway, um, ever since then, we have taken a weekend away. We don't go away for a week. That's not feasible with her husband, my husband, our kids, all of those things. But we take a weekend, a long weekend. So this year, we are not flying. We're doing something a little more low-key. We are driving to Santa Barbara. Um, she's been to Santa Barbara, and as many times as I've been to California, I have never been to Santa Barbara. So I'm really excited to see it and go there. But I will say, we are a little bummed because the weather is not looking great. And we had beach day, hiking, pool time, on the agenda, not much else. So we're going, we're gonna improv, we're gonna have fun, we don't know what we're gonna get into. Um, she is also a homeschooling mom and one of my dearest friends that I am so thankful for. These few days are so refreshing to my heart and my soul and we just love adventuring, drinking coffee, having conversations and I'm just excited for the time away. So I actually just got home from a field trip to the county fair with the kids. That's why I'm a little sunburned and very sweaty. So I'm going to get in the shower and as I was doing that I was finishing up my suitcase. Um, we're staying somewhere really fancy. We splurged on where we were staying. I actually had a discount, um, so I wanted to use it on us so that we could indulge a little bit, especially since we're not flying. So we are actually staying at the Ritz-Carlton, <laughs> Santa Barbara. I've never stayed at a Ritz-Carlton before. I know it's very fancy, and I'm excited to see if it lives up to the, um, I don't know, expectation of a Ritz Carlton. So we'll see. Either way, I know the location is going to be beautiful. So I'm going to bring you guys along for the weekend in Santa Barbara. We are going to leave tomorrow morning, which would be Friday. We are driving and um, we're just going to have a weekend of girl time. So excited to share that with you guys. And I hope you enjoy coming along with us homeschool moms on a weekend away. All right, you guys, good morning. It's Friday headed off to pick up my friend, got some road trip essentials, this protein pellet from Trader Joe's and protein shake and water. We have like a six hour drive ahead of us, so definitely coming with some snacks and some food. Um, but I'm gonna head over to my friends now and pick her up and we are off for our, what is looking like a rainy Santa Barbara weekend, but I'm determined to still have fun. So we will see you guys when we get there.
all these men in blue. It's two. Santa Barbara and we just checked into our room. We are staying, I know I already told you guys, at the Ritz Carlton. We decided to splurge, plus there were some discounts involved. And um, so we're excited to be here. So let me show you guys the room. It's very pretty, but the grounds here are very pretty as well, which I will show later in the vlog. Okay, so the first thing is some fun Spanish tile. Everything is very Spanish vibes. This is um, the bathroom. So over here, mirror, toilet, shower, that's cool. It's like enclosed completely. And a fancy robe. Very nice. And then you continue on and through this area rug. It's like tile underneath. And then we have the two queen beds. The beams on the ceiling are really cute. Um, over here, this made me laugh because usually coffee makers are like the cheapest version of Keurig. And here you have a shiny silver Nespresso, which is so fancy. And the Nespresso pods, which is quite funny to me. Um, and so some sitting chairs and a pretty painting. And then this is the most beautiful part besides the beds and all of that is this door open with the Santa Barbara breeze. Tomorrow when it's hopefully not raining the whole day, we'll be able to enjoy this, but you can sit out here and have a nice garden view right outside of your room. So you have this nice little patio porch area that is just off your room, which I think is so pretty. So that is a look inside the room. This is what is right outside the room, which is very, very beautiful. This gorgeous fountain with all of these Spanish arches and just so many trees and greenery, flowers everywhere. Really, really pretty property. So we're all here. We're gonna freshen up and head to dinner. Dinner outfit, night number one, is pretty much something that I've had in my closet for forever. Um, this black dress from Carly Jean Los Angeles, and then this is a new um, jean jacket that is obviously covered in pearls that I just really liked. I got this from Pink Lily, and then I am wearing my pearl sandals. Um, because it's a little chillier than we planned. So I didn't really buy anything warm, obviously, coming to Santa Barbara. So we're just making do with what we have. So this is what I'm wearing for dinner tonight. I'm super hungry and excited. We're going to a Italian restaurant that had good reviews that's local to Santa Barbara. So we're gonna head out here in just a few minutes. Okay, and my very beautiful friend, she's always the most stylish. So this is your free people splurge dress. Yep. And free people lace yep. top the long sleeve. Thing I have. <laughs> <laughs> it's so so cute. They need to even up the ground at the Ritz. I'm not studying my clothes. You can smell the ocean breeze if only you guys were here. But look how cute this little motel is. So many cute things in Santa Barbara. Flowers everywhere. Plants everywhere. Look at how cute that is. and it was amazing highly highly recommend that restaurant so good I had um, chicken with risotto and Sierra had the rigatoni and we split a salad and it was delicious and we just got back to the hotel and we wanted to see like the um, coastal access so let me show you guys how beautiful not only do you have these beautiful wildflowers growing here but you guys can see the ocean, 
and the cliffside in the distance. There's a restaurant right there, some chairs to look at it. Seriously, so, so beautiful. Hot tub time and then we're gonna call it a night. So tomorrow, rain or shine, we are going to the botanical garden. We've already bought tickets. We are getting permanent jewelry. We have an appointment at like 11 something and um, we're gonna do some shopping and some coffee and some eating and that will be that. So we'll see you guys tomorrow for our first full day in Santa Barbara. So this is a total splurge, but I definitely ordered room service. I got a fresh flower. We got some organic jam. Cute little salt and pepper shakers. I eat a big breakfast. My friend does not, but I do. So here we go. Good morning, you guys. We woke up about seven. We were both awake a little earlier thinking that the other was still sleeping. We didn't want to wake each other up. So we got up about seven, ordered some room service to make it easy, and we just finished getting ready for the day. We are going to a place called Anna Janelle um, Jewelry for our permanent bracelet appointment. We had that scheduled. And then we had the Santa Barbara Botanic Gardens also scheduled. It is going to rain, but we're gonna still try to go. We have umbrellas, but we'll see. Unless it's like a torrential downpour, we might skip out on it. But we did pay ahead for that. You do have to buy tickets ahead and reserve um, your time as well as the permanent jewelry. So we found a really good lunch place that I'm excited to try. It looks fresh and healthy and delicious. Um, and it had good reviews. So we are getting ready for the day. I wanted to walk down to where we were last night at the hot tub to show you guys the view in daylight. It, I was stunned. I, I posted a picture on Instagram, but I literally was like, what? It was just such an unexpected surprise to see the ocean right there from the pool view. It was Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Um, so today we are wearing pants. These are some new cargo pants that I bought at Target. I didn't want hot pink. I wanted more like the, um, I don't know, like the tactical green, army green color but they didn't have my size. So I got pink anyway, cause I was like, oh, if it's cold and we're, you know, going to the garden, pink will be cute. So I got pink and um, when we got here, Sierra and I have a running joke about buying the same things and showing up to places in the same outfit not planned. Sometimes we do it on purpose because it's become a joke, but most of the time it's on accident because we have very similar taste. So I got ready or I told her I'm going to wear cargo pants and here she comes in her cargos. <laughs> and they're, they're so cute on you. Hers are from American Eagle. American Eagle cargos and I love that burnt orange sweater. That is adorable with the scalloped yeah. edges, so cute. But we didn't plan on doing cargo pant matching. And then, and then last night when we were getting ready um, to go to dinner, I said, hey, what are you gonna wear? And um, she goes, oh, I think I'm gonna wear this Free People lace top that I brought. And I was like, oh, you brought a Free People lace top because where is mine? So did I, and I have never even worn it, but I do have the short sleeve version of this top and she had the long sleeve, but still so funny how we do that all the time. So anyway, we're, we're both going out in our cargos, cargos take Santa Barbara. <laughs> and we were both laughing because I haven't really worn cargo pants since about 2004 when I met Jake and I had army green, um, cargos they were actually army print they were you know like what's that word camouflage they were camouflage and you would intentionally roll them over at the waistband 
so that your hip bones could show and like maybe your um, heart or your Playboy Bunny sticker from the tanning bed. That was the look and very Christina Aguilera. In fact, one of my, um, one of the very first pictures Jake had of me that he like took with him back in the day when we had to print out pictures, um, when he took it back with him when he went back to college was me in those cargos and I was wearing a um, tube top, a yellow tube top um, from Guess and I had on huge wedges with like a huge yellow flower on the top and that just seemed like the cutest little outfit at that time. <laughs> so I haven't worn cargo since then. They've come back and I guess we're embracing them. So we are going to finish getting ready. I would love to show you guys the view. I hope it doesn't start raining because if it does, I obviously won't be able to do that today because it is so beautiful. Um, the beds here were so comfortable, but honestly, you kind of would expect that with this caliber of hotel, but they were very comfortable. We slept amazing. <laughs> I think that's why we both woke up at 6.15. We were so rested because we slept really well. So I'm excited, might do some shopping, not might, we definitely will do some shopping, um, and get the, our permanent friendship bracelets. So excited about that. Um, and yeah, it'll be a fun day regardless of the weather. We're going to make the best of it. And, um, I think you guys will enjoy seeing what we're up to in Santa Barbara today. I would recommend this hotel highly for couples. It's very romantic. I mean, all right, so I do favorites videos all the, well, not all the time, but some of the time. And so I thought it would be fun to share with you guys just some random favorite things that we brought with us for, um, this girls weekend admittedly part of the fun for both of us is doing a little shopping we're both the type that don't just shop in the day to day i shop for things and then when we buy things for like a girls weekend like this then we want to use them and wear them at other points too so um, that's how we both are and so it's a lot of fun for us to um, do that and then come together and then have fun doing our hair and makeup for a few days because that's not typical in either of our lives. So I wanted to share with you guys a few of my favorite things that I've recently purchased um, from all varying places um, that just for the fun of it. So the first thing that I want to share with you guys is are these um, pearl slides. They're the A New Day brand from Target. I think they've sold out, but I'm sure they'll bring them back. Anyway, they're really pretty. Pearls are very on trend. And um, these are nice when you don't want to wear a heel, but you want to dress up your sandal a little bit more. I did size up in these a full size. Um, another shoe that I've had my eye on for a while are these Adidas gazelle platform shoes these sell out on the regular everyone is buying these but i wanted to do a fun color so i got pink i ordered my normal size and i got an eight and they are a little big so i wish i would have ordered i think a full size smaller a seven which i've never worn a size seven but for whatever reason these suede adidas they run huge but by the time i realized that I had already worn them and so I wasn't able to return them but I'm just gonna deal with it wear a bigger sock or something so I love those um, another little thing that I recently got is this travel sized jewelry box I was just throwing my jewelry in a bag for the longest time and the things were getting tangled and it was very annoying and I asked myself why are you doing that and so I decided I wasn't going to do that anymore and I ordered one of these so it's just it's small, but enough to hold your earrings and everything. Um, and then it does have, I guess I could have put my earrings up there, but I bought one of these for my daughters too. So it's nice for all the traveling we do to just have a travel sized jewelry box. Another thing that I got you guys saw last night, um, is from pink Lily. Now, I do order some things from Pink Lily and I do like them when I order them, but the stuff does not hold up. It's not good quality, but I figured a jean jacket would probably hold up. 
and I liked the pearls. <laughs> so I ordered a large in this and I, it's really cute and the large was the right choice for the oversized fit. And then these. So you guys know I've shared with you before about my Relight Hydration. They have these sticks that are perfect for adding to your water when you're traveling. So because everyone naturally drinks less water and I actually bought these for my trip next week too to Kansas. So love those, get those on Amazon. And then the last thing that I'll share with you is this purse. So I was looking for a leather, well it's fake, fake leather purse that was just simple, that wasn't super small, but wasn't super huge. And I wanted to be able to change the straps because this the, I have a few cute straps. So that's where I, why I got this one, which I got from Amazon. It did not come with this strap. This strap is from Target, but my thing is clipped on here. This purse is the perfect size for me and I like that it is crossbody. Um, but it's not super tiny, but it's also not huge. So it doesn't weigh 300 pounds and it's, it's very good quality and it has pockets on the outside and on the inside. And it's just a basic leather color. So it goes with everything you wear all season. Normally when we travel, I want to fix this. Normally when we travel, I always have a very small purse and, uh, after years of carrying a giant diaper bag and all the things I'm just not a fully small purse girl I need a little bit more room so those are my favorite things I think Sierra is gonna tell you her favorite thing she always has good stuff and all of her recommendations are gold so she's I don't know what she's gonna share you but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna want to buy it all my favorite number one <laughs> I love a good romper, especially a good denim romper. So cute. I can and, confirm. Um, they also make these in the full length. Which I have both in Jumpers. there from Free People. These sometimes will come a little loose, but the girl at the store told me to knot them. Genius. I mean, yeah. And I've done that on the full length ones because I'll always be going. Yeah, because as you them. sit down. Yeah, so she told me to knot them and it does work. So this is... Worth the splurge. Worth the splurge. Um, and it's something you can dress up or be extra casual in. So cute. Yes. This I just bought. I cannot vouch for it, but I used it yesterday and today. They are um, facial bronzing drops. She was worried about looking like Donald Trump. <laughs> it's Isle of Paradise, uh -huh. um, which is a higher end brand. I've never tried them. Yes, like anything. I have their self tanner and I love it for like your body. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mixed mine with my moisturizer. That was a good move. Because when you pump this out, it's very <laughs> pigmented. <laughs> I am an oily person, very oily. So I love this dry shampoo. This is inexpensive because I go through so much of it. 89 sprays per night in the trailer. <laughs> yeah, my whole head. Right. So this will get me through. But even if you're not an oily person, yes. dry shampoo Freshen gives up. you texture and it freshens up your hair for sure. Freshen up. Okay, now on to more face facial things. Um, as I said, I'm oily, but now that I'm getting older, I am trying... Cream. cream products mm -hmm. as to where I used to avoid that and did all mattifying products. <laughs> <laughs> the more matte, the better. Yes. Um, so anyway, I decided to give this Merit Foundation Stick a try and I'm very happy with this. You need very little of it and it's all That's natural. Clean Beauty brand. Clean Beauty brand. Mm -hmm. I have the blush for it also, but um, this would be my favorite product from Merit foundation stick uh -huh. let's see what is the cre oh linen let me see and it looks like that and then you roll it up so i just do this yeah. under my eyes a little on my forehead and, and then, then blend, blend it, it out this got me instagram <laughs> got me <laughs> for the divs beauty um cream duo bronzer stick and blush yeah i know this smells 
heavenly. I've Divine. almost bought that so many times. Uh -huh. It's worth it. And I've had mine since October. And you just need a little bit. Now. <laughs> Another thing we both brought. <laughs> we don't wear makeup often. But when we do, uh -huh. there's certain things that are... <laughs> worth the money. Worth the money. And this brow... Freeze. Freeze gel. Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's like eyebrow lamination <laughs> in a bottle. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Your brows will not move. They <laughs> they will be there. They will be there. Rain or shine. <laughs> yeah. Exactly as you placed them. But really, <laughs> it's very them. good. It's very, it's very, very good. Very good. And if you're not careful, they will be stick straight up. <laughs> so you have to kind of shape them. Uh-huh. Uh, how you like them yeah but it but is, is really good, good and so funny that we both bought the travel size because we weren't sure yep and it's got the spoolies on each side for ultimate application <laughs> <laughs> so now you guys have some fun things to add to your cart i also have these free people overalls and i will confirm they are great i have them in black and in the shorts, and then I have them in the full length as well in the lighter denim color, and I often resist buying more pairs. This is something I've wanted to buy for a long time. Now she's piqued mm -hmm. my interest on this. Maybe we'll swing by a Sephora. I right? love anything bronzing, <laughs> and I already have this, so I'm gonna be maybe considering all of these things and because, this. and that, yes. I will be buying Crochet. that as well. <laughs> very, very cute. All right, so hopefully that was fun for you guys just to see some of our favorite things. Like she said, neither one of us wear makeup every day, but when we do, we know how to find the good stuff. In case you've ever wondered how big the umbrellas are at the Ritz-Carlton, let's find out, because this is an umbrella. I feel like this could go to the beach. We went to leave and it's pouring. And whoa, wow. Can I fit under? Yes. Come in here. Eight people could fit under here. <laughs> here we are. This will actually work. We will not get wet at all with this. This is gigantic. <laughs> Should I bring this around I'm Santa Barbara? Desert. I can't say I've ever <laughs> walked around with an umbrella. Oh, I'm doing it. Okay, so here's what I wanted to show you guys, was the pool. Look at how beautiful this pool is. And then you see right out there in the distance, it's foggy, let me zoom in. But that is the beach right off of the pool. It is so pretty. We came down here at night and we were just like shocked. <laughs> Um, but it's beautiful and I think the weddings that they have here are off that way too. So it's very, very, very beautiful. Hey, we found you guys the beach and look at these beautiful flowers. They smell so good right now. It's actually not raining too bad. And there is the ocean and the cliffside. So you can just walk right down here and have immediate access. And you can see over there the coastal line, which is so pretty. Would be even better if it was sunny, but it's still beautiful. Kyle is so pretty. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it.
Okay, so when it rains in Santa Barbara, it really rains. So it is very rainy, but we did make it to our permanent jewelry appointment. I got two bracelets and here, bring your arm over here. We got the matching like small ones, if you guys can see. There we go, there's the lighting. So, so cute. And then I also um, copied Sierra and got this uh, dot ring that kind of matches this choker that I wear all the time. Um, so we did that and then we tried to walk a little bit on State Street, which Santa Barbara is known for, but the rain was just unbearable. And then there were a few things um, that came up with phone calls and whatnot with the kids back home. So now we are going to regroup at lunch. We saw um, this place called La Paloma that had really good reviews for lunch and looked like a pretty healthy, yummy place. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna grab some food. Our, um, our um, botanical garden is at three o'clock. So we'll take our time, enjoy some coffee here because it's raining and then we're gonna still try to go see the garden even if we have to each do it with umbrellas. <laughs> Thankfully I did bring two and then we have the gigantic one from the Ritz Carlton. So that's a little update for you guys. And now it's time for lunch. We don't need no more Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm It's coffee o'clock. So we tried Handlebar Coffee, which is right across the street from the historic church of Santa Barbara. Pretty cool. all the way up. Reporting back, we are drowned rats. I mean, my hair is literally soaked. I mean, friend. We've tried to be optimistic about the weather today, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say that this weather is really terrible, and it sucks, and we, I no longer look at all presentable for going anywhere. Everything is wet. We don't even have a paper towel. Like. I mean, do you guys see this? This is not just a light mist. This is a torrential downpour. Ay, ay, ay. Well, you guys, we came to, I need to keep you under my umbrella. We came to the Santa Barbara Botanical Garden and it is so beautiful. Um, but as you can hear, it's pouring. They gave us the option to reschedule and come back another day, but we're only here tomorrow and then we leave on Monday and tomorrow isn't looking any better. So anyway, here's my cute friend. She's on this adorable bridge with her umbrella. Okay. Here's the here's the water that you can hear rushing through here. hiding under God's protection but over here is the meadow area and it's so pretty with all these beautiful flowers the camera does not do it justice and we can smell everything because it's raining so I guess that's one perk but it is very 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 pretty and it seems like there's this goes on for quite a while. Like you could hike out there 
but we're staying on here because at least there's pavers to walk on. All right, you guys, so it's been a bit. I think the last thing that I showed was that we were at the Santa Monica Ba, Santa Monica, Santa Barbara Botanical Garden, which was so beautiful, but it was very rainy and very cold, which was a little bit of a bummer, but we were still glad that since we prepaid for our tickets, we didn't just throw away our $20. So we went and did that, and then I made, what is going on with this rat tail back here? Then I made the executive decision to come back to the hotel and uh, kind of collect ourselves a little bit from looking like we had just been through a very crazy rainstorm because we had. So we came back here and um, I blow dried my pants. Sierra blow dried her sweater and her pants because she walked to the car like this. So her uh, sweater was all wet. I needed to do something with my hair before we went to dinner because it literally like because it got rained on and it was soaking wet like I got out of the bathtub. So I didn't feel very good about going out looking <laughs> like that. So we came back here, we freshened up, and then we went to um, Milk and Honey. And we had, that's like a tapas style restaurant. So it's meant for sharing and everyone, like depending on how many people you go with would depend on how many things you ordered. Of course you could just order it for yourself too, but it's meant to kind of share. It was very dark in there and I did not bring the camera. So if I remember, I'll put in some of my videos from my phone, but we shared some delicious Brussels sprouts, some really good sweet potato fries, a kale salad that was very good, and two little mini sliders. She had one and I had the other. So it was like the perfect amount. I was super hungry and it was really good and very affordable. It wasn't crazy at all. Um, we just had water, so that was the um, event. And bef before that, we actually went and sat in the lobby for a little bit. Something that the Ritz Carlton does is like every night they have a drink that they give out for free um, in the lobby, like to toast for the sunset. And so this one was called like Apres by the Sea, and it was basically tequila and um, it was pretty strong. So I only had a few sips because I was the driver. I am the driver. Um, and Sierra drank hers very quickly. <laughs> but it was literally like that much. But you could, it was kind of strong. So anyway, um, that is the events of the night. And the greatest news of all was that it finally stopped raining. However, tomorrow is also promising rain. So thankfully I got on Instagram and I asked some of you guys who live around here, you guys save me in moments like these, like what is there to do um, inside? So we have some plans for the morning, some backup plans now in case it's raining, but we're still holding out hope that in the afternoon the sun will come out. And even if the sun doesn't come out, that the rain will stop so that we can do something outdoors. Our initial plan for tomorrow, today we were gonna do like shopping and and pictures in the garden and all that, and then tomorrow was gonna be go on a hike, this hike called Inspiration Peak or Inspiration Point, one of those. It's supposed to be really cool with really good views. So we were gonna do that and then we were gonna enjoy the beautiful pool here. I mean, who can lay out by the pool and hear the ocean in the background? That's incredible. So we were gonna do that and um, and then like walk by the beach. So that was gonna be the plan for tomorrow and then come back in and shower later in the day and get ready for dinner. Um, tomorrow we're going to a place called Reunion by the Beach. So we'll see how the day turns out tomorrow um, with the rain and everything, but we obviously won't be able to do all of those outdoor things, but we'll see what we can come up with. So. Anyway, we're gonna head to the hot tub. We are in our Ritz Carlton finest robes. <laughs> and we're gonna go enjoy the hot tub again for the second night. It was very nice last night. And so that is it. We'll see you guys in the morning. I have never had turn down service before, but we just came back from the hot tub at night and found these little chocolates on our pillows and our covers pulled down. So fancy. Breakfast, 
day two, room service is just the most convenient, especially when it's raining. We woke up to rain, so Sierra's having her same toast again. <laughs> and I am having avocado toast. It actually looks pretty good. Sprouts, I think they put oranges on it, which I've never had that, but I'm sure it's good. All right, it is our last day in Santa Barbara and we are both wearing jeans and sweatshirts. Let's see. Not at all the cute dresses we had planned, but it's raining again. So we're gonna make the best of it. And I actually, we slept in because this room was as dark as a black hole. And I, we didn't wake up. We stayed up a little later last night laughing, having some fun. And um, so we slept in got the avocado toast, got ready for the day, still did makeup, did hair that will look cute if I need to um, pull it into a bun later today in case I get drenched again. Um, but we're gonna go out. I asked on Instagram uh, indoor things that we could do. Somebody recommended a really cool bookstore. So check that out, maybe an antique store. And um, we have lunch reservations and dinner reservations. So that's taken care of. If we wanna go to those things, we could always not go. But this is it guys this is as good as it's gonna get for, for the cute outfits i had a, such a cute dress that i bought that had like i don't know it gave me kind of like the spanish like scalloped edges and like i said getting dressed on girls trips is one of the parts of fun but we're gonna go have a good day so we are off for our next uh next day's adventures so when i told you it was raining i don't think you understood how much it was raining so take a look okay thank you to all of you guys who recommended going to chaucer's bookstore that was well worth the stop got something for my new niece coming got a bunch of books my kids had been wanting spent way more money than i planned on but hey it's raining and we were in a bookstore and I wasn't the only one who found anything. So, look at how Stationary. beautiful that is. Notebook. Nice, thick, good paper. The smaller one for my purse. So pretty. Isn't it pretty? Yes. And then the book you recommended me. Very had. good. Very good book. And also this one. Very good. All right, yesterday we tried to come to La Paloma for lunch and they were completely full. They were having a special event and every table was reserved. So we didn't get to. So yesterday we actually went to that Mexican place instead, which I'm glad it worked out because there it was very good. But we did make a reservation today for this place. It's recommended and this, I think I'm gonna get a salad. That sounds really good. Um, we lost track of a little bit of time at the bookstore, so I had to move our reservation and thankfully we were able to do that. So we are gonna head in and have some lunch now and see where else the day takes us because can you guys see what is happening? It is a miracle, the sun is coming out. So we'll see, we'll see if it sticks around, but I'm hopeful. We came to Alessia, or Alicia, it's backwards. It's a bakery and cafe for some mid-afternoon treat sampling. I got a lemon tart. This is a salted chocolate chip cookie and a chocolate croissant latte, and my Americano is on the way. It is so cute in here. You can come in and have high tea or just a dessert or a coffee and they do have outdoor seating outside. Would recommend, very, very cute. from whom all blessings flow. That is the first time that sunroof has cracked open this entire weekend. Yay! So we just got back to the room and can you believe it? We were able to put on shorts 
and we actually bought these pink lily lilac um, sets for the beach. So we're gonna walk down to the beach before our dinner reservation because the sun is out and we have been waiting to um, go to the beach all weekend. That's what we had planned, so I'm really excited that we get to go down. So quick little outfit change. So I brought you guys to this spot on our first day when it was rainy, but now the sun and the waves through these beautiful wildflowers is amazing. 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 So we got back from our walk on the beach and finally I get to put on my dress that I got for Santa Barbara. I'm so happy. I know it sounds silly, but I've told you guys a bunch of times the outfits are very fun. So I got this because I loved the little scalloped edge. Um, this is from Old Navy and it was actually such a good price. This dress is very flattering and I feel very good in this dress. I threw my hair up in a bun because I twisted it earlier um, in case it rained on my head again. <laughs> and so the front was a little like wavy and the back was straight. So that wasn't going to work. So in a bun it goes. And then I got these new sandals from Old Navy as well and they're actually really comfortable. So super, super happy to be able to wear my Santa Barbara dress. I bought this totally thinking of like all the Spanish tiles and everything. I just thought it was the perfect dress for the trip. We are going to a place called Reunion on the beach. We wanted to eat our last dinner on our girls weekend with a view of the ocean and very thankful, very thankful that uh, we're able to do that and that it is not raining anymore. And my friend looks so pretty. Her dress is from Abercrombie. And look at how pretty that color is. And then super cute <laughs> shoes. Thank you. Thank you. Amazon shoes, Abercrombie dress, very beautiful. We couldn't be happier. So, so happy. <laughs> Spicy Marks for our last dinner. Delicious. How is yours? Very good. Very good. Thai noodle salad. And then we had some asparagus to start. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So we went to Chaucer's, which is a local bookstore here in Santa Barbara. Thankfully, when I reached out on Instagram, I asked you guys for indoor things to do. Someone said this bookstore was, actually a few people said it was worth checking out and they were right. Um, huge bookstore, all different kinds of books, all new books. It was not a used bookstore. So um, I figured I would show you guys my little haul. So I saw this little ice cream rattle and I thought it was so cute and I needed to get it for my soon to be niece. So I got that for her. Um, I got this beautiful sketchbook for my oldest daughter. Um, they had a ton of really beautiful stationery there. Sierra actually got some notebooks as you guys saw. But this one is blank and then it has a magnetic closure and the floral it's like textured it's just really pretty um i got my son uh landon loves reading uh this author these are not kids books it's historical fiction um he has four of this author's other books so i grabbed this one for him about the midway and um, I think he'll be excited to read that. This was just a random find that I found myself. Um, first accounts of the Titanic. 
I think my oldest daughter, as well as my boys, will probably enjoy reading this. And then my younger daughter in the future. Oh, dang. I bought, I bought this one. <laughs> he already has this one. Whoops. I forgot to put it back. So anyway, got another copy of that. Um, let's see what how much that was. 18. Uh-oh. Um, okay, and then we just finished. He finished reading um, one of these book authors' books. These are more kids' historical fiction. So this would be more towards younger kids. You know, like, I think this would be appropriate for any child who enjoys reading historical fiction probably you know like 12 and up but the reading level is simple so it's not like a hard book he finished the other one in 24 hours literally he read that book in one day um and then i they collect these so i text my husband and said do they have any that they want they love reading these star wars um books my son Caleb has read, no joke, um, about 60 of the books in this series. So he's on book 60 or something crazy. Um, so that I grabbed. And then I couldn't find a book for my youngest daughter, so I thought that she would like these. These were super cute. Just some cute erasers and a pencil sharpener. And then I did also get these ones, too. These were just funny. The, these ones were scented erasers, and so I'll save those for back to school time. And then these ones I thought that she would like, too. So these were cute. So that is my little haul from the bookstore. Back at the room for the very last time. I'm going to end the Santa Barbara trip vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us on this weekend. Um, we were so thankful that the sun came out today. We went to a restaurant on the beach, so we got to see that. We saw a beautiful rainbow, and then we made it back just in time for a beautiful sunset. So the Lord blessed our weekend, and we're very grateful for these three-ish days to just talk, catch up, talk about marriage, talk about children, talk about homeschooling, talk about family, talk about all the things. Um, it's very refreshing to us both. And I would just encourage you guys in your own lives that it doesn't have to be something extravagant. It doesn't have to be something that's seven days long, although that would be really fun. It can be simple. It can be just a, a simple two-day trip with your friend to recharge your batteries. Just enjoy all of your hard work a little bit. We have to reward ourselves every now and then. Um, we can't just be workhorses with our heads to the ground, cleaning, cooking, homeschooling, momming, and then never taking any time for just enjoyment. Not in a selfish way, but in a good way. Um, and so... That's just my encouragement. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for coming with us to Santa Barbara. Anything that I talked about, hopefully I'll remember to link it down below, but if I forget, please remind me in a comment. Um, let me know if you enjoyed our trip. We didn't have any mishaps like we did last year with Paula Dean. And if you know, you know, because you saw that video, but it's only in my membership. I never shared it with everyone, so. Uh, yeah, we didn't have any of those events this weekend, thankfully. Although I'm happy that that happened in hindsight because it was so funny, but I'm really glad that there were no like ultra embarrassing moments. So we thank you guys for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.